Good morning, church. I'm Sarah Grant, and I work with Next Gen in Worship. And today's great verse is Hebrews 13, 8. And it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And to me, this just speaks so much hope and peace um, over our sometimes chaotic lives and minds and um, the anxieties that we have, the insecurities that we have, because as we change and we adapt and we learn and we grow, um, we also can make poor choices and <laughs> not be the same as we were. Um, we have inconsistencies, but God is always consistent. He is always faithful and he is always um, who he has been and who he forever will be. And um, I think about this in the context of what we've been going through as a church community in Psalm 23, that he is a shepherd, that he guides and he leads and he is patient and he goes after, um, he goes after us, calling us to still waters. Um, he goes with us in dark valleys. This is such a beautiful picture of who God is and who he forever has been and forever will be. I also think about Isaiah 61, that he came to bind up the brokenhearted and um, give good news to the poor and free the captives. Like this God who cares about our lives, that he will forever care about our lives. Um, and John 10, 10, talking about the abundance that God has for us, that he came to give life and life to the full. Um, it's such a beautiful picture of this God who came to give us so much abundance with him. Um, and the fruit of the spirit is in that abundance. We get to experience joy and love and patience and goodness and self-control. Um, we get to experience his faithfulness um, for ourselves in his spirit. So um, the last thing I wanna leave you with is um, this picture of God as a fortress and strong tower that he is a rock and a shield and a shepherd and a protector and a savior. Um, that he goes before us and he goes beside us and he goes in front of us. Um, and that's who he was, he is, and he will forever be. So be blessed church. God is with you and he will forever be with you. Um, just lean into him. So that is the daily hope for today. And we'll see you tomorrow for another.